Now, beyond NASA and ESA, the Roman Catholic Church is also interested in what lies beyond our universe. Indeed, the Vatican has its own observatory in Rome, but Jesuit astronomers are also looking to the heavens in Mount Graham, Arizona. There lies three very powerful telescopes. The Vatican's astronomical institution dates back to at least 1891, and it's already given us breakthroughs, like the first photographic proof of the green flash at sunset. Well, to speak more about the Vatican's space activity, I'm joined by the head of the Vatican Observatory, Brother Consul Manio. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. It's a delight to be here. So what exactly are Jesuit astronomers looking for? And does the Catholic Church actually believe or is even open to the idea of the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence? Well, fortunately, extraterrestrial intelligence will exist or not exist, whether I believe in it or not. Uh, we are simply astronomers doing the same astronomy as anyone else, with the difference that we can do long-term projects because we don't have to face year-to-year -year funding. But we don't have a particular mission. We don't have a particular goal we're trying to reach. We are a dozen astronomers from around the world, and every one of us is doing our own particular research project, whether it's the mathematics of cosmology or trying to understand dust that comes off of comets and hits our atmosphere as meteors. Now, does the existence of alien life contradict in any way Catholic dogma? I mean, do you understand that this could come as a shock to worshippers as it affects the, the claim in a way that men are special in the cosmos? Funny thing about that. Um, first of all, it's not going to be such a shock because I think most of us have well, you know, watched enough science fiction that we're used to the idea we're not alone. There was a survey done by the Center for Theology and the Natural Sciences that showed that 90% of every religion they in interviewed said finding other intelligences would not be a shock to them. Any, I think the bigger shock really was back when they discovered human beings living in the Americas. And we've gone through that. We're ready to accept that any creature in the universe that is created, was created by the same God who created us, is in the same kind of relationship as the rest of us. Now, has the Catholic Church always been interested in space? And, and is it true that certain medieval Catholic art pieces, for instance, portray uh, things like UFOs? I'm referring, for instance, to the Madonna with St. Giovannino or the Annunciation with St. Uh, Amidius. Um, if you identify these as UFOs, you're putting your own interpretation in what the artist was showing. But you can look at the Giotto painting uh, of the Annunciation, of, of actually the Nativity in Padua, with Comet Halley above it. The medieval universities, which is where science got started, had four subjects that everyone had to study before they could go on to theology or philosophy. There was music, there was arithmetic, there was geometry, and there was astronomy. Understanding the universe is important if you have a religion like ours that says God made this universe. And that means we can understand God's personality by seeing how the universe works. Brother Guy Consolmanio, thank you very much indeed for that.